Hello, my beautiful Cancer, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising. Welcome to your Zodiac reading. This is the Dream Clairvoyant. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. I do hope you're all doing well, feeling safe and feeling blessed because you are. So let's see what your message is for your Zodiac sign. Holy Spirit, thank you for guiding us. Message for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising. Please remember to take what resonates and leave what does not. Also remember that the cards represents energies that any gender can embody. All right, so you have the Ten of Pentacles, Three of Swords, Message for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising, Message for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising. Let me shuffle better. All right, Page of Cups. Message for Cancer. Ten of Cups, King of Swords. Hmm. Tell us more about this message. Three of Cups. Tell us more about this message. Temperance. Of cups. Hmm. I keep on getting this feeling of like someone's home or someone someone's home to see you or someone's coming home to see you, Cancer. And this is going to be a very heartfelt moment. Almost feels like this person hasn't seen you in quite some time. The Three of Swords is separations. Separation, wow. The Ten of Pentacles Just know that this person's coming home to you to stay. They're coming back to stay. Like the Ten of Pentacles, it's that long-term security and stability. It's longevity. Something that will last a lifetime and perhaps even throughout generations. What you guys, what the two of you will build will last throughout generations. That is why the Ten of Pentacles could also represent things like generational wealth and wealthy families and business empires and lump sums of money. Wow. Someone's coming home to stay. They're coming home to stay. I feel like the two of you have been apart due to maybe there was a separation, like some sort of breakup, divorce, or they had to leave for work or, you know, some sort of circumstance, right, where they had to leave. But they're here to stay now. The Page of Cups, um, it represents pages when you see a page it's all about news and messages and communication. I do see this person talking to you. I even see here with the Ten of Cups, you guys spending time with each other. The Ten of Cups is happiness, it's fulfillment, so much joy and contentment, like the type of happiness that money cannot buy, you know? Their presence, I'm hearing their presence will be felt. Ten of Cups could even represent a family, a family unit. Maybe this is your relative or maybe this is your romantic partner and you guys have children together. Or this is simply someone who you've known for a long time. Or 
even if the two of you have not been together for a long time or the two of you do not have kids, this is what they have in mind, the intent to establish this happily ever after, fairy tale ending with you. Happiness is what this person's looking for. You may even be, maybe even in the past, this person was so caught up on having financial abundance, having financial security, where maybe they were working a lot, traveling a lot, attending to other things, right? Just to guarantee this, just to, gu just to guarantee a secure life for the both of you, which is important. But what's also important is being present with your loved ones and spending time with your loved ones, right? Your family, your friends, your lover. That's what's also important. I do feel like this person was working hard to secure a Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, literally on the back of the deck, Nine of Pentacles. These are people who work so hard, they would give the last shirt off their back. They're very hardworking and dedicated, and they always finish what they started. So I do believe this person has, has worked for a very successful and secure life for the both of you. Very, very hardworking and dedicated. But it caused separation, though. So maybe they had to be, be away from you for, for some time. But now they're home. I keep on hearing they're home. They're coming home to stay. Family is very important to this individual. Whether the two of you have a family, whether uh, this is a relative, whether they want a family with you, take it how it resonates. F having a happy family life is very important to this person. But they also want their family to be secure, Ten of Pentacles, where money isn't, isn't a problem. The King of Swords tends to be very detached and cold sometimes. So maybe it doesn't look like it, but this person does care about you and the future that the both of you have. That's why they work so hard. They show their love and care for you through their hard work. They don't do this for anybody else, but for those who they love. Providing, guaranteeing a happy, safe, successful, secure life for you and them. The Three of Cups is celebrations, social gatherings, it's weddings, it's anniversaries, it's a celebratory moment. That's what the Three of Cups is. Clarify the Three of Cups. Wow. Yeah, this person's home. Look at the King of Pentacles, man. Then the Judgment, right? Then the Six of Pentacles. They've worked so hard. And I feel like they're going to be presenting their success to you. There's something big that this person has accomplished, by the way. There's a celebration here. The King of Pentacles is someone who's very, very successful, maybe even rich. But these are people who take loyalty very seriously. They're very committed to, the, to those that they love or those who they love. The judgment, a final decision. I feel like there's something that they're gonna be showing you, presenting to you. And maybe you'll understand why they had to leave for a little bit, why the separation was important, because because they got much work done during the separation. It's not like they were cheating on you or doing anything you know, dishonorable. I feel like this person has chosen you. I feel like this person is going to be giving you something. Like this person is financially abundant and I feel like they're going to be sharing something with you. Maybe like a nice gift 
spoiling you or something like that. You're going to be a part of this celebration. They're going to be sharing their success with you. The chariot, the wheel of fortune, the death. This person here, the chariot is someone who has a success story. It is someone who goes from rags to riches. It is someone who's very driven. The Wheel of Fortune. Someone here may have even gotten like a windfall of money is what it's feeling like. Someone here is receiving their fair share of something. The death, major endings. Major endings that lead to transformations. Someone here is going to be receiving something. I'm telling you. Six of Cups. Some sort of return from the past. It doesn't have to be a person from the past, but it could literally be like something good that you did from the past and it's returning back to you. Good is returning to you. Hmm. Clarify death. Seven of cups. But this person is carrying or they're carrying the energy of the death card because they're ending major, they're ending certain things in their life and they're starting something new. Hmm. This person's coming back to you with a lot of like success, major success, lots of wealth here. And they've chosen you to share it with is what I'm seeing here, Cancer. I know during the separation, it killed you. It, it was hurtful to be, a, to be apart from someone who you love. But this person, like I said, it, they show their love through their hard work and dedication. Everything that they do is not for themselves, is not to necessarily show off. It's to be able to give the both of you the life that the two of you deserve, where they can provide for you. And you can live a comfortable life with them. This person just feel like a like an emperor type. They like to be the provider. They want you to be spoiled. You know, they want you to be relaxed. Where money isn't isn't the, a problem. This person's coming coming home to you to stay, and and there will be a celebration. You will be celebrating their success. And they're not just taking this as their success, but the both of you guys' success. Because in their head, what's for them is also for you. This is true love. And maybe it's even because you were willing to be patient with them. It could be that as well. Because I saw very clearly with the Three of Swords, Three of Swords is heartbreak, it's disappointment, it's separation. So there were so many times where I feel you were hurt by this. But I feel like you remained loyal. And you didn't give up on this person. Look at the Eight of Wands. You remained loyal. You didn't give up on them. Maybe you were still helping them too in some way, shape, or form. You were. 
the Ace of Swords. You helped this person in some way, shape, or form by supporting them. The Ace of Swords could represent communication. Maybe you still, even the, both of these cards are communication cards. Like the Eight of Wands is communication. And it's also a swift action card. The Ace of Swords is communication. So I feel like there's something here that you were still supporting this individual by communicating with them, helping them in some way, shape, or form. Ace of Swords can even represent the truth and clarity. Maybe you brought certain things to light for them. I feel like you did your part, and this person's coming back to reward you, share what they have with you. You helped this person big time. You did. The Hermit card is here. The Hermit card, maybe it's something about your insight because the Hermit is someone who is like, they stay to themselves and they, they interest, they're very introspective people. They look into things. They make discoveries. You know, they research Clarify the hermit. The devil. Oh. Clarify the hermit here. The seven of pentacles. You didn't give up on this person. Like there's something about you. The seven of pentacles is someone who's very persistent. The devil card is someone who has strong desires. No matter how tough it got or how hard something was or how, how long you had to wait, you were persistent in supporting this person or bring maybe even discovering something, bringing something to light maybe. Ace of cups. And this person appreciates you for your loyalty and your commitment. I feel like it's what has made them fall even deeper, even more madly in love with you. Ace of Cups is happiness, it's fulfillment. So much joy here. You were a big help to this person in some way, shape, or form. Yeah, Two of Cups, a partnership. Wow. You know, the King of Pentacles is so loyal as well. So I'm sure they're looking for a loyal partner. Two of Cups. It's like even when they weren't there physically, when they weren't present, you were still loyal and supportive. It's just what I'm seeing here because the Two of Cups is a partnership. There's something here. I want to do that again. There's something here about you supporting them, even when you couldn't see them. Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles, could be a financial offer. Let me see, Seven of Swords. Oh, I wonder though, was someone, hmm. This combination makes me feel like someone was stealing Queen of Cups. Hmm. Queen of Cups. Clarify the Seven of Swords. Nine of Swords. Someone was. Clarify. Clarify the Seven of Swords. The magician. I feel like someone was stealing. Stealing money or something. Then the magician, nine of swords. They're probably scared that they're going to get caught now. Maybe they've been caught. But then look at you here. The queen of cups, though. 
What does the Queen of Cups have to do with this? Oh, Five of Wands. And then look, Ten of Wands, Burden, Stress. It's like you took on something, you took on some sort of fight that maybe wasn't really yours to take on. Maybe it was actually this person's drama. This person appreciates you for some sort of role that you, that you played here, even, even though you didn't have to. Let me see. It's a card that just flipped over, you guys. I saw it. I hate when that happens. It's like it flips over, then it goes back in the, in the deck. There it is. Was that it? Seven of Six of Swords? You did something here that you really didn't. It's just your loyalty for this person. And how you stood up for them. Something like that. Six of Swords, the world. This person wants to, they want to give you something as a token of appreciation. Six of Swords, moving things from rough waters to calmer waters. You even have the world card that's here, a successful completion. Yeah, you help this person become victorious. They are the victor. Whoever was trying to do whatever this was, you helped them big time. Big time, like big time, big time. Maybe you don't even know, but they're going to tell you about it. Yeah, they're going to tell you about it. This person, the star, wish fulfillment. I feel like the two of you get to be together now. They do. We're going to continue this reading in the extended. I want us to uncover the messages of the temperance and the king of cups and uncover more messages about this situation here that could help you. But this person is indeed coming home to you to stay and there will be a celebration. Thank you guys so very much, Cancer, um, for tuning in. Thank you for your support. The link to the extended is going to be in the description box. Take care, everyone, and many blessings to you.